Right. <laughs> I need to zoom in a little bit. Right, what's going on guys? Your boy Kieran O'Reilly. Today's video, I'm doing the q and I put out the post today, literally an hour ago, and I've already got like 30 something comments, nearly 40 comments. So I'm going to do a little bit now and then I'll give you guys until the rest of tomorrow before I film the second bit like of the Q&A. Uh, it's all going to be in the same video, I'm just going to give as many people as much chance as they can to get in a question and like maybe shout out their Instagram or YouTube or whatever. So we're going to, I've got the comments on my phone here, so we're going to jump straight into it. Right guys, we're going to the first comment, so underscore lemp underscore, would you go to a different scooter team in the next year? No, <laughs> I've got no reason to leave Grip. Like they're always sending products out as soon as I need them, like the next day. And um, they're always on time with everything. They're always like, put, like if I send them something that I need posted on Instagram, they'll post it straight away. Like they're taking me on tours and stuff. I've got, I've literally got no reason to leave them. And I've been with them for six years in September as well. So no, I wouldn't just leave like that. Uh, like I wouldn't just leave over nothing. Definitely not. Scootlord.nord asked me two questions. Who would you ride for if you didn't ride for Grit? And what's your favourite skate park? Right guys, my favourite skate park is Weymouth Skate Park at the front skate park. And uh, who would I ride for if I didn't ride for Grit? I would just leave it until anyone got in contact with me. FXCKK underscore Harvey. Would you quit YouTube for scooters or quit scootering for YouTube if you had over 2 million subs? Right, so... No matter what, I would always stick with scootering, right? So it's out of the question that I'd quit it for YouTube anyway, because you see so many people doing it these days. Just because they blow up a bit on YouTube, they don't like stay with their roots. So I wouldn't like it would be nice to have two million subscribers on YouTube, obviously. Like anyone would like that. But I wouldn't quit scootering because of it, because I like I enjoy it so much, I wouldn't let it get to my head if I was to like blow up massive. So F X C K dot Zach with an X. Do you reckon you would ever quit scootering? No. Harvey underscore Baker with two R's. What is your favourite skate park that you've been to? My favourite skate park that I've actually been to is probably Corby. But like I said, my actual favourite skate park that I'd keep going to, like, and that I've been to quite a few times as well, is the front. FXCK dot Zach with an X. Ask me another two questions. Do you like Frutellas? Yes, because it's a bad man's sweet. If you know, you know. And what's your favourite trick to do on a box jump and a quarter? So my favourite quarter trick is probably a flare triple whip or a whip buttercup because they're really fun to do. My favourite trick over a box is it's got to be like an inward triple whip or like footless footless whip or something because they're like they're really nice to roll away from once you land it. Or maybe a C flip as well because these big tricks are like the best part about a big trick is rolling away from it because you know that you've just like done it and you feel like I don't know there's just like an accomplishment feeling about us so yeah it's a good feeling. Nils underscore dot zero four zero ask me two questions back flip or front flip well on a scooter and flat both backflip because I, like, I don't know I've just always preferred backflips to front flips and 720 fly out or 540 air yeah. I, don't, I don't even know 720 fly out <laughs> underscore your uncle Alan underscore what's your worst injury and who was, who was one of your idols when you first started off so my worst injury is probably tearing a ligament in my knee and my idol is uh, well my idol when I started off was Dakota like it because when I first started the trick that, the video that I used to watch all the time was the raise the scooter tricks video like it's it's such a popular video it's got I think over it's definitely got over 1 million views but I'm not sure if it's got over 2 million but it's, su it's such a popular video I was watching it every day when I first started it's all I was watching and I found out it was Dakota and I used to always be like I don't know, it was just crazy because I read the description and it said that he was 11 years old and professional and I remember telling my dad that I'm going to be professional on a scooter one day and then a year later, uh, no it wouldn't be that actually, it was three years later I was, no it wasn't even that, it was two years later I, I was riding for two years before I got sponsored but when I got sponsored I got put straight onto the professional team for Grit uh, back in 2012 2012 2012, yeah. No, 2011, sorry, because I just turned 12. I'm I'm stuttering a lot in this video, and I? I do apologise. But yeah, so, back in 2011, I just turned 12. It was a September of uh, 2011, and I got put straight onto the pro team for Grit. And I was only 12 as well, and I felt kind of like I had achieved something, obviously, because 
I was an outclass professional when I was 12 and I was always looking at him as professional 11 so it was Kota when I first started. Kieran dot underscore buttercup or quad whip. Buttercups are nicer to do on quarter pipes but quad whips are better to do over boxes so <laughs> that doesn't really answer your question but you didn't you didn't uh, specify over a box or on a quarter so I answer, I technically answer both. Ashton dot Gil Foyle, what was your first ever local skate park? Sandown Skate Park. If you've seen my edit on uh, OTB's channel, OTB Films channel, it's um, Kieran O'Reilly an hour's worth. Rhymes underscore elite, do you like it when you meet fans? Of course I do, like it's, su it's such a crazy feeling, like when I'm on tours and stuff and people coming up to me or even just when I turn up at a random skate park and people are telling me that they've subscribed to me on YouTube and they've been watching my videos for ages and like I've had messages saying that I've inspired people and helped people get through like rough times and stuff by watching my videos and it cheers them up and that, like it's the best feeling, like I don't even know how to explain the feeling, it's just so cool, like just from talking to a camera there's technically quite a few people like behind the lens, not literally behind the lens, but like it's, it's just craziness. And when people come up saying they're like my biggest fan and stuff, it's such a cool feeling. Like I never thought I'd actually be able to experience that feeling, but it's just, I don't know, it's insane. Like that's why I always encourage people to not be shy around me or anything. Like if they see me in a skate park, to just come up and like tap me on the shoulder or something and say hello, or if you want something signed, then just don't like hesitate to come and ask me because I'm never going to turn around and say no or anything like it's just yeah like always if you see me around just come up and say hi basically like don't be shy or anything Rob underscore Castleton yeah Castleton with three N's how did you get into scooter riding and do you get beef from BMX riders so I've explained this before in my in my, one of my last Q&A's but basically how I got into scooter riding I was at my mum's friend's house in Portsmouth and we rode I think it was three 3.1 miles if I remember correctly, it's quite specific I know, but it was 3.1 miles, I'm pretty sure, to this skate park and he was on a skateboard and I was riding my bike and on my BMX at the time, I had a little like black BMX thing, it was only 18 inch I believe and we rode all the way there, we was riding around this skate park, I can't remember the name of it. I seen a few people on scooters and stuff and it was like that's the first time I'd ever seen scooters at a skate park and he was riding a micro scooter, a little silver micro scooter and I asked him if I can have a go, he was cool with it and that because like, I thought it looked sick and then the first ever ramp I'd done as well, if, to save you guys asking as well, the first ever ramp I'd done was a 5 foot ramp it was a 5 foot quarter pipe, I didn't do any flat banks or anything, it was literally straight down a 5 foot quarter pipe like, I don't know why, I just had a weird feel for it and it just worked and yeah so that's like how I got into scooter riding because I found that so fun and then I later went on to ask my mum for a JD Bug for Christmas because that was like the top of the range scooter at that time and then went on and got a JD Bug uh, no sorry I didn't ask my mum, I got a JD Bug off my nan for my birthday for my 10th birthday from that day on I just I was at the skate park all the time constantly practicing and stuff so like, it was crazy, it's crazy thinking back to then like, I remember the very second that I opened my scooter and hopped on the scooter and started learning tricks and stuff like it's, it's crazy and do you get any beef from BMX riders? no <laughs> nah never like Every time I ride with people, like it doesn't matter what sport you're in, I, I'll get on with you. Like it doesn't bother me. Like unless you're like purposely getting in the way and purposely snaking just to wind someone up, then I'll have a problem with you. But like, if like you can ride any sport you want, it's it's about having fun, isn't it? Like you could like, if I turn up at the skate park, I won't bat an eyelid because there's a skateboarder there or there's rollerbladers there because I've got mates that do all four like all four of the major sports in the skate park like scooters, BMX, skateboards and uh, rollerblades like I've, I've never had a problem with any of them Victor Bandman, do you enjoy your life? yeah yeah like the only the worst thing about my life is work every day but no one actually unless you have a job that you fully enjoy and that you've always wanted to do no one actually enjoys work let's be honest like it's not a nice thing but you've got to do it really you know you need money somehow so yeah that's the only thing I don't enjoy but you, know, you just get on with it then you know everything else yeah I love it it's sick Ben Dot Fisher what's the craziest trick you want to do probably it's not even that crazy but I just want to get double flares down like it's the one trick that since it was very first done I told myself that I'm gonna do it one day I've never actually tried it I've got double flips perfectly to foam and stuff, but double flares I've never tried, like once, literally not even once. 
Like it's just one trick that I really want to do. Or maybe like a flare whip flat or something just to get a world's first in my pocket or something like that. Just some like cool trick that not a lot of people do. Obviously loads of people do fl double flares and that but a flare whip flat is, I'll give flare whip flat as my answer because that, like, I've never seen anyone do that and it's not even been done so probably that to be honest. Connor Derba, favourite person to ride with. If you use my question, shout out to my YouTube, Duba Films, or Dubber Films, D-U-B-E-R Films, one word. Uh, favourite person to ride with, I, I thought of someone straight away, Nathaniel West. <laughs> Nathaniel West is the funniest guy I've ever met in my life, I'm not even joking you. Like, you have such fun sessions if you ever ride with him, like, it's just, I don't, <laughs> I don't, he's just so funny, like, he makes everything so funny, so... Nathaniel West, shout out to my boy. Tommy Fudge 123. Can you shout my YouTube out? Tommy Fudge Space Media. There you go, bro. Underscore Lucy Winter underscore. What is your opinions on skateboarders? Like I literally just said, like I like this just is what it is, isn't it? Like they've chosen a sport to have fun with. I've got so much stick in my life from scootering. People use it against me all the time, but it's like, like I, I enjoy doing it, I'm not gonna stop for someone else's opinion on me like it really doesn't bother me anymore you just gotta block it out and just not listen to anyone like if you enjoy doing something and just crack on doing it and don't let other people ruin what could potentially be a future for you like just ignore haters and like, I'm not gonna hate on someone and then moan about being hated on so I just like it is what it is isn't it but obviously some people are annoying and stuff and skateboarders the one thing I will say about skateboarders is that it does get scary when you're riding with them because obviously they don't have anywhere near as much control as like a BMXer does or a scooter rider does or rollerblades because once it's gone from your feet they're not holding it with their hands or anything so it just goes off in any direction that they're like wherever it's going and it could always cause injuries and stuff I've had a few injuries from skateboards myself back when I was riding BMX I dropped into a quarter pipe um, I was a little bit younger and I thought that my front wheel would just hit the skateboard and the skateboard would move like, and I'd just carry on going forward but I just dropped into a six foot ramp on my bike and I hit the skateboard and flipped over the bars and went into the fence like I flipped off my bike into the fence like that's, that's what put me off skateboards and made me really precautious when I'm riding around skateboarders but other than that it's, it is what it is isn't it like they've chosen the sport to have fun with so they can crack on with it. MX. STAZ, funniest person you've ever ridden with, Nathaniel West. Hugo underscore Bateman, when did you land your first flare flat? Right, I posted on my Facebook the other day, I'm not sure what exact date it is, I'm just going to quickly have a look, because I, this list come up the other day, it's been just over a year since I actually landed my first flare flat. Right guys, my first flare flat that I landed was on the 12th of May 2016. Literally, the Facebook one year ago memory popped up, four days ago and there it is you won't be able to see it but there it is there's my first flare flat uh, moving on to the next question guys I'm just gonna quickly apologize I don't know why like I've just my SD card has just filled up so I can only answer a few more questions but the ISO like the exposure or the brightness if you don't know what that is like I've just put the other SD card in and it went really dark and it's on the same settings and now this is as bright as it's gonna get so Hopefully it doesn't matter too much to you guys, but I do apologise, that's really weird. Anyway, Ben.Campbell2, where do you see yourself in five years time? Hopefully still doing YouTube, I'll be 22 man, Jesus, I'll be nearly 23. Hopefully still doing YouTube, I don't know what sort of content I'll be posting out, but hopefully still doing YouTube. I can hopefully still ride around on a scooter, because I would have been doing it for 13 years, but hopefully that's still a possibility. <laughs> and basically just working <laughs> sounds fun doesn't it but I can just see myself working in five years time every day like I do now like I know it's a bit of a transition from my bedroom to the garden but it's been three or four days since I filmed that bit that you literally just watched I had to stop filming at that point because I had run out of questions so I give you guys like the last three days to get all your questions in yeah I've been really busy and I like, literally haven't had time to film this half of the video right up until now so it's going to get dark in about half an hour, so I'm just doing it outside whilst it's still light and whilst I still have a chance, so let's get back into it. Jimmy Wild underscore, when did you start riding and what was your first scooter? So I started riding on my 10th birthday on July the 1st, 2009, 
and my first scooter was a JD Bug, like the very original JD Bugs. Ryan Pickering with 3Gs, what is your favourite scooter brand? So it's pretty obvious that I'm going to say Grit anyway, but I genuinely mean it. Like I was on my friend, uh, he's not going to be watching this video, but his name's Jack Larkham, and I was on his scooter before I got sponsored by Grit. And I didn't know at the time that it was a grit, like one of the first ones out. And like, I just loved it, it just felt so nice and so easy to do stuff on. And I just got on with the scooter really well because I was riding a blunt neon pop at the time as well. And like, it was so weird because I loved the company grit, like when I first got to know what they were and when I first started riding my friend's scooter, which was a grit. And then like a couple of months later or whatever, I got offered a sponsorship of them, that's crazy. So yeah, it's definitely grit. AJ.Shaw, who's your favourite Island Extreme rider? Um, I can't say like out of all of the Isle of Wight riders for Island Extreme because like they're all my boys. Like I like literally I mates with all of them. Like, I'm not going to choose a like who do I prefer the best because I like them all the same. Obviously, like they're all my mates and stuff. And I've grown up riding with them like my whole life, though like, since I've been riding. So uh, from the Island Extreme team that doesn't live on the island. I can only think of a few, so I'm going to say Reese Yules because he is sick. Like, he's genuinely like a sick rider anyway, and I get on with him really well, so Reese Yules, if you're watching, yo. <laughs> Steph117 with an X instead of the E. When are you going to try a flare whip flat? I don't have a clue. Maybe if I get to a resi or something, then I might give them a go, but I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon, especially not to concrete or anything. Ted.012, what's your biggest injury from scooting? Uh, probably tearing my ligament in my knee four times and then dislocated it literally hundreds of times. I'm not even exaggerating, literally hundreds of times. Like, I never used to think anything of it. Like My knee used to lock up at least three or four times a session every single day. And then I'd have to straighten it out and you'd watch it pop back in. But I spoke to my mum about it and she's a nurse. and. She told me that it's dis that's a dislocation that like, every single time I'm doing that, and I didn't even have a clue that like, it just comes so natural to me. And now my knee still does it now, literally every day. If I sit in the wrong position, I have to pull my knee into like towards my body, and it pops, and then it's perfectly fine. Like it's so weird, but that's because I never give it time to heal. When I first tore the ligament in my knee, my knee was massive, and I wasn't supposed to ride for however many long, probably six months or whatever. I was riding when I was on crutches two weeks later. <laughs> like I hopped on my scooter and went down the skate park and I couldn't even stand on my knee. I'm paying for it now because it's so bad. If I land dodgy it'll just pop out or the ligament will tear, like it's so bad. Dan.skates underscore ten, favourite trick and why? My favourite trick to do has got to be a flare trip whip or like a footless footless because they're just like they're fun to land. <laughs> Like it's a nice feeling when you roll away from a flare trip whip or something, but that might just be because I learnt them second ever go, and I was always scared of doing more than one whip in a flare, and I didn't even like doing normal whips in a flare, and then I just sent it one day and got it second go. I think it was at the ICSP all nighter, or it was just a session at my old indoor skate park at ICSP, and I've just loved the trick ever since. Like I've landed more flare trip whips than I have falling off on them. I don't want to like, jinx anything, but I just, I really enjoy doing the trick. If you enjoyed this video guys, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Uh, remember to follow me on Instagram to be involved with these sort of videos. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.